Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. In a previous video, I talked about what are considered to be traditional treatments for autism, such as Risperidol medication, things like behavioral therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. Let me talk a little bit about what are called biomedical therapies. Biomedical therapies are those therapies that are used medically, but they're not necessarily commonly recognized by the traditional medical community. And that doesn't diminim, uh, diminish their effectiveness because they can be quite effective. But within the traditional medical world, they're not either recognized to a significant degree, in many cases, not even known about. And they really break down into multiple categories. Supplements, so using various nutritional supplements like multivitamins, multiminerals, um, folic acid, B12, can be very helpful for some individuals. Matter of fact, one particular vitamin called vitamin B6 has actually been very helpful for a number of individuals on the autism spectrum because it has a bolstering effect on brain chemistry that can help with eye contact, attention, focusing, in many cases, behavioral problems. We also have other therapies that deal with the digestive problems that kids have. So looking at yeast and bacterial issues using things called probiotics or treating for yeast and bacterial uh, problems in the digestive, uh, digestive tract, either with medications like Nystatin or Diflucan, sometimes antibiotics, can help many individuals Im improve cognitively overall because we know that there is a link between digestive toxicity and brain function. Dietary therapy is another biomedical intervention. The one most commonly known about is the gluten casein-free diet. We know that the gluten and casein actually have a chemical effect on the brain. This has even been traced to people with bipolar depression, schizophrenia uh, as well. But with individuals on the autism spectrum, these particular food proteins can actually interfere with brain chemistry and create problems, attention problems, eye contact problems, socialization problems, language problems, behavioral problems, etc. So when you're looking at biomedical therapies, these are therapies that are used medically. They just sort of fall outside what would be considered norm for the traditional medical community, supplement therapy, digestive therapies, dietary therapy, et cetera. But they can be incredibly useful uh, and just as powerful in many cases, if not more powerful than the non-traditional uh, therapies like speech, OT, ABA therapy, or, or medications. So it's important to keep uh, your, your mind open to other possibilities, to keep searching, to keep learning, because there's a world of information out there with respects to treatments for autism, uh, and I've just touched on a few of them uh, in this video. Thanks.